up, I have to redo my intro. Why what? do you why do you got hairspray? Well Oh yeah, get it all lubied in there. That looks like a cream pie. Ooh. 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 Oh. That was definitely a cream pie. Look at his dripping. Ew. Let's go give that a second. I'll safety wire. I like safety wire. That's how I used to do it. I wanted to try this method. But alright guys, so uh, the rat hose that everybody's wondering about from like, what, about a month ago? Probably. It's yeah. finally uh, on SP's website. So the video that we uh, that you guys saw was from a month ago. Um, we got them in stock, boxed up. They're for 17 plus. The earlier models are coming. Uh, we're just waiting on that. But uh, we have like 250 as of right now in stock, ready to be boxed. They're, and I'm two pallets over there. So uh, there'll be a discount code that's with this product. We're gonna hide it somewhere in the video. So if you actually want to buy this product, watch the video. It'll be like a little three, four second bloop somewhere in the video that Josh will put in there. Um, yeah, so uh, I don't know what else to say. What do we got going on today, uh, Ron? Hold on, we, we're not, this, is, this isn't how the intro goes. Is it like fucking extremely hot in here or is it just me? I think it's just extremely cold outside and it mm. makes it seem hotter in here. Uh, yeah, so should I just go drink my second Red Bull now? I'll go get more later, yeah. I'll go get a liquid death. Oh yeah, 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 because we're, we're gonna take this out for a spin. Yeah. All right, guys, what's going on? We're back with another video about your new rad hose, upper rad hose. So, here's where you're gonna be changing it out to, and uh, as the last video you might've saw, but we'll get it back out. It's gonna be a short process, easy change. Um, this would be a cool, idea to do when you do do your thermostat if you wanted to do that just because it's already off but in hindsight it only takes like it's going to take longer to drain the coolant put the coolant back in just honestly drain the coolant than it is going to be to do to actually do the process of the thermostat so that you have two hose clamps and you have your billet ends the other ring is already in this one but first thing when you do this is you don't want the truck super hot. Release any coolant pressure you got going on, especially the hotter that it is. Just take the gaff off, let it sit off. Uh, that way you don't have any buildup of pressure. Drain it, I would recommend anywhere about two to three gallons. Um, just when you go to pull it off, just to make sure you're not throwing coolant everywhere. If you want to buy new coolant, you can. Um, we're going to reuse it. We just have a clean bucket. Goes right back in, so. Where do you drain it at? Over at the petcock on the driver's side. The petcock. Yes, correct. Okay. So, <clears throat> we get this coolant drain. Um, I don't think you guys need to see that. If you don't know how to do that, it's it's super simple. Look at our old video. Um, but, yeah. Get that drain, then we'll catch back up with you when we're uh, taking the uh, rat hose out and uh, going with the next one. Things are getting intense, using up my sixth sense Thought you had us figured, I can't use me at your expense They be on that pretense, we be on some defense If you in a past tense, you could keep your two cents I don't want to be another target on the head Alright guys, so before we install I'm going to lube the O-ring in here Use some dielectric grease, works pretty good Let me not drop that Pop, whoa clip you can take it out because we're gonna need it so we'll set that to the side that comes out set this over here a little bit more then there's another one of these clips underneath here you can unbolt this if you wanted to but I'm just gonna pull this off if I can get it there we go Little pick helps a lot. If you have a screwdriver, you might be fighting it a little more. Comes out just like so. Toss that to the side. Now the only tools you'll need is a pick, an eight millimeter, 
with an extension. Actually, it's gone. So you're going to retain or use the factory bolts. It's too long, one small. You can take. So this one I already have positioned on there, like so. SB facing up. That's where this goes, and obviously this goes back into there. So get this. Let me see where it'll be best to tighten this on there. Like so. Get that on. And I'm gonna tighten up the hose clamps just a little bit. Just get a taunt but so I can still rotate this billet adapter in there. So to put this on, you remove this and then you just slip it on like that. I'm gonna have to rotate it around a little bit to get it perfect. But just a few little fitment deals and should be good to go. Just a little bit. Let me move this because that is also in the way of the head of that bolt. So right, that's pretty close right there. Well, I'm gonna need my uh, wobble socket. Make it a little easier for me. Let's see if I can get these longer ones in. Now there's no o-ring in that billet adapter if you're wondering uh, it, I, there's actually an o-ring on the thermostat that it uses to tighten and seal it so just so you know i got that third one started the thread in so it'll be fine but then you just come over here and i have this position wrong not wrong but so, to make note of this, see these two grooves? They'll sit right over these. So, just make sure you rotate it right. Still a little bit. There you are. So, yeah, leave these hose clamps just a little loose so you can finesse it around. But other than that, uh, Send up all three bolts, two hose clamps, and bleed the system. Uh, I'll show you how to bleed the system. Shall we show them how to do that, Josh? Yeah, why not? Sure. All right, we'll catch back up with doing that stuff when we do that. Okay. So it's all about precision here, guys, and not spilling, which I did a little bit. So the first step of bleeding a cooling system is just filler. Fill it back up to the max line. Don't fill the entire container back up. Yeah. I'm a little over it, but that'd be fine. And so yes, there's about a gallon or so left in this bucket. So now, fire up the truck. Go drive. Let it, it warm up, and then go drive it. Uh, once the thermostat opens, because you can kind of get a little purge out of it doing this, but. Once you drive it and the thermostat opens up, then it'll cycle the coolant, then you come back, pour the rest in it. And you're good. Uh, it just depends on how much. Like, we took out about three gallons, so probably have about at least one half, two in there now. Once it cycles through, uh, we'll come back and fill it up the rest of the way. Don't drive too far. Don't drive on low coolant too far, but yeah, about 10 minutes of driving should heat up and open up the thermostat. So uh, we'll do that. Actually, another little tip. So off camera, 
uh, I was trying to tighten that uh, hose clamp and I rearranged it aiming this way because I used my wobble extension or my wobble socket rather and was able to come in with a long extension and tighten it. So I had to pull it off and just reroute it. So I'm just aiming that way. But I mean, other than that, super easy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, it's like besides draining the coolant and filling it back up and bleeding it, five minute process really. So, yep. So we'll get back to you make sure uh, it's not leaking. Everything's good to go. What are your final thoughts? All right, guys, we're back. We just did about a, I don't know, 10, 15 minute loop. Obviously the coolant went down. Uh, so I'm gonna throw the rest of it in here. Hopefully, hopefully it all fits. But uh, <clears throat> before I do that, uh, by the time this video goes live, this should be uh, available on SP's website. If not, it'll be like within the that week. You know what I mean? Normally we post them on Friday. So when they do the release, we'll probably have the video on the release day or maybe like a few days before, but we'll kind of work with them to have it up. So we'll make sure we keep you informed um, with what happens maybe down in the description. Uh, so thanks for checking out the video. If you guys could like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing helps the channel immensely. Also, if you guys want any product that you see on this truck, you can go down into the description. It'll take you to SP's website and you can buy whatever product you need for your truck. Um, as well, it also helps the channel. It allows us to put these products on the truck to kind of show you what it's capable of. Um, kind of running out of these uh, these cheaper parts rapidly, but we, we, uh, we're we trying to get it done. I know, like just like I said in the last video, like the weight reduction stuff, it's coming in. Uh, we're just trying to knock each thing off the list as it goes. So, yeah. Um, if anything, if you want to see us, anything, if you want to see us do anything else, uh, just let us know in the comments. Also... Um, fuck, I was going to say something, but I totally forget. Goddamn ADD. Hold on, let me think about it. Let me think about it. So, guys, uh, some of the reasons for maybe wanting to do this kit. Number one, you just like billet pieces and uh, better quality hose. So, the O-rings that they use in here. There's a little bit in there. But uh, the O-rings, I don't know if I can get it in the light. I... It's hard to see. It's the, the O-rings like damn near flat. So the O-rings and these are a higher durometer, different material. So they're they're a higher quality O-ring. So they don't flatten out. It, it's hard to see in this instant, but these are very, very flat. It's right behind this white piece. But um, nonetheless, also sometimes around where this, uh, I don't know if there's a crimp or, I mean, it's molded. They can leak around here. So as well from just over time going hot and cold. And uh, if you ever watch an engine, when you get on the gas, the engine will actually torque and move. Uh, it can slowly work these loose. So it's kind of nice. I mean, it's just a simple hose clamp over the fitting with a, essentially a bead roll. Uh, I mean, not much can go wrong at most if, the, if it goes bad or the hose clamp goes, I, it'll never leak. You just tighten it with the hose clamp. And if you need over tighten it, just get another hose clamp. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, so those are kind of the, the reasons uh, it's more durable and it's meant to last so i know it's been a problem it's not a huge problem but it does happen so it's one of those things it's preventative maintenance and we thought we'd bring it to you to show you that it, it is available for these trucks so yeah yeah it looks better too i mean it, if you're, it, I mean, if you're dressing does. up the engine bay getting rid look, of all the look, extra clutter look at, look at this thing yeah it just looks yeah looks bad but and then to get it out i mean it's you just pull that off, pull the three bolts out, and it comes right out. So, I mean, it's just as simple to take off. Um, like I said earlier in the video, I would recommend to do it with the thermostat if you were going to do the thermostat anyway, or maybe now. I don't know. Um, either way, it's not really hard to take it off, so I guess it doesn't matter. But, yeah, so that's pretty much the whole concept of that. So, thank you, guys, and uh, we will catch you on the next one.